When a young woman gets stopped by the police, she immediately fears the worst. Her nightmares come true when the cop orders her to open her trunk, but the cop has no idea that she's secretly recording him and what happens next is extraordinary. Shanice glanced in her rearview mirror and her heart began to pound. The flashing lights of the police car were close behind. A sweat broke out on her forehead as she tried to cast her mind back to something she may have done that would warrant being pulled over, but she couldn't think of a single thing. Despite her young age and her sporty car, Shanice was a careful driver. The young woman was used to people making assumptions about her driving when they saw her red Ferrari 458. She was in her early 20s, and people struggled to comprehend that not only could she afford such a nice car at her age, but that she was actually a responsible driver. However, being pulled over by the police was a different thing. As a young black woman, Shanice had heard too many horror stories about traffic stops and she didn't want to be a part of the statistics. Cautiously, Shanice pulled over and wound her window down, ready to speak to the cop. She tried to remain calm and collected, but her heart was almost beating out of her chest. That morning, she'd spent a long time ensuring that she was in the right frame of mind for her job interview. It was a very important interview and could make a huge difference to her whole career, which is why she'd been sure to give herself plenty of time to get ready and for the drive to the interview. Now, her whole plan had been thrown out the window. That morning, when Shanice had woken up, she thought she knew how her whole day would go. Interviews always made her nervous, but she knew she was good at what she did, so she wanted to allow herself plenty of time to relax, make herself look good, and go over her notes one last time. Now she was flustered, panicked, and worried about missing the interview. Or worse. When the cop stopped next to Shanice's car, she began to fumble for her license and registration. Her hands were shaking, but she was trying not to look nervous. She knew she had done nothing wrong, but she knew some cops didn't need an excuse to take things further. She was stopped in her tracks, though, when the cop bent down and told her not to worry about pulling anything out. The young woman certainly wasn't expecting that. Shanice had unfortunately grown up in a community where white cops treated black people with suspicion. She'd heard too many horror stories of friends and family being wrongly accused or harshly treated by cops. She didn't want to become part of that narrative, too. She never had any run-ins with cops and had never even been pulled over before, so she only had the horror stories to go off of. She had no idea what to expect when she saw the flashing lights in her rearview mirror, but she was willing to bet that it wouldn't be good. I just want to let you know your brake lights are out. Shanice was already envisioning a hefty fine coming her way for the error, but when a confused look came over her face, the cop introduced himself as Officer Jenkins and asked her what was wrong. Shanice explained that she'd only had the brake lights replaced a month ago, so she couldn't understand how they were both out already. She told Officer Jenkins that she'd taken her car to the nearest Firestone, where they'd wanted to run a wiring test that would cost $600, so she'd refused. The cop shook his head in disbelief. No one should be paying that much money for a test, he smiled. The young woman was taken aback by Officer Jenkins' demeanor. He seemed genuinely concerned for her safety and like he wanted to help out. But she didn't want to let her guard down just yet, so she just smiled back at him, hoping he would give her the fine and send her on her way. All she could think about was getting out of there and making it to her interview. But things weren't going to be that easy. Officer Jenkins asked Shanice to pop her trunk. The young woman's heart sank. Apparently, Officer Jenkins wasn't as kind as he seemed because now it looked like he wanted to search her car. The young woman did as she was asked and stepped out of the car, but not before grabbing her phone. She made her way around to the back of the car and she saw the cop with his head in the trunk, tapping the brake lights. Now Shanice was confused. Discreetly, she set her phone camera up on video mode and hit record. For a good few minutes, Officer Jenkins tried his best to get the brake lights to come on. By now, the young woman was starting to feel a little more relaxed. She made sure she was still discreetly recording, though. When the cop didn't have any luck in the trunk, he asked if he could take a look under the hood. Shanice was in shock. The cop had seemingly gone into full-on mechanic mode and was now determined to see if he could get the brake lights to come back on. 
As Officer Jenkins continued to work on her car, the young woman revealed that she was actually on her way to an interview. The cop suddenly stopped fiddling with the car and turned to Shanice. He explained that he couldn't let her drive around with no brake lights, but he also couldn't get them to work. He asked her questions about her job and the interview, and when Shanice had finished explaining, he smiled at the young woman and told her he'd make sure she got to the interview on time. Luckily, Shanice had been smart. She'd planned to spend some time in a nearby coffee shop doing some last-minute prep for the interview, which meant she still had plenty of time to spare. Officer Jenkins instructed her to turn on her hazards and told her he would personally escort her to a nearby garage, where he would ensure she wasn't charged exorbitant prices. He had heard a few stories of young women being taken advantage of at garages where mechanics reckoned they could easily get away with it. He would make sure that didn't happen. As the young woman climbed back in her car, she stopped the video recording on her phone. A huge smile spread across her face. She knew exactly what she wanted to do with the video. Officer Jenkins was true to his word, and he escorted Shanice to a garage just five minutes down the road. Thankfully, the repair was quick and simple and didn't cost too much money. The young woman was more convinced than ever that the Firestone Garage had just tried to make as much money from her as possible. When the job was done, a part of Shanice was still expecting a ticket. After all, it was up to her to make sure her brake lights were working. The fact they'd been fixed a month ago wasn't an excuse to dodge a fine. The young woman was ready to accept responsibility for her wrongdoing, but the kind cop had one more surprise for her. He told her that he cared more about her safety than giving her a ticket, and that he was just glad he could help out. He wished Shanice good luck with her interview and drove off. She couldn't believe it. She would have no problem paying the fine after how helpful Officer Jenkins had been, but his choosing not to issue her a ticket went above and beyond. All the way to the interview, she couldn't help thinking about the encounter she just had with Officer Jenkins. He had to be one of the kindest people she'd ever met, and she felt guilty for assuming the worst when she'd first seen the cops flashing lights. Not only had he tried to fix her lights for free, but he hadn't even given her a ticket. The young woman felt like the cop was proof that there were still some good people in the world. When she got pulled over, she'd felt distrusting of Officer Jenkins. She'd also worried about missing the interview. Shanice hated being late for anything and knew it wouldn't look good, but trying to explain she was late because she'd been pulled over by a cop was a guaranteed way to not get the job. Thankfully, with her careful planning and Officer Jenkins' diligence, she'd made it with time to spare and with a renewed sense of faith in people. With that confidence, she aced the interview and would find out in the next few days whether she was a successful candidate or not. That evening, Shanice pulled up the secret recording of Officer Jenkins on her phone. She watched the whole scene unfold again and knew exactly what she needed to do. She'd thanked Officer Jenkins before he'd driven away, but it just didn't feel like enough. With both brake lights out, her chances of being rear-ended had massively increased, and he'd put her safety above anything else. She made a Facebook post about how much Officer Jenkins had gone above and beyond for her, calling him a blessing. She made sure to include the video footage and hit post. Now she could only hope that Officer Jenkins would receive the praise he deserved. The next day, Shanice opened Facebook and smiled. Her post and video had been shared by Henrico County Police, stating how proud they were of Officer Jenkins for going above and beyond the call of duty. She felt sure that her thanks would be passed on to the kind cop, but that wasn't the end of the story. What happened next was unbelievable. When Shanice posted the video, she just expected family and friends to see it. The fact that the local police department had picked it up was great because she really wanted them to know how much Officer Jenkins had helped her, but she never expected anything more than that. However, over the next few days, Shanice's post went viral and was shared thousands of times by people from all over who seemed moved by Officer Jenkins' simple act of kindness. But Shanice knew the post held a lot of meaning for people. The world was full of stories about mean and corrupt cops, and people needed to see that that wasn't always the case. There were still good cops out there who valued their vow to protect and serve. Shanice only wished their paths would cross again so she could thank Officer Jenkins one more time. The good news just kept on coming, though. Shanice found out she'd got the job. It was a huge step up for her career, 
and she was immensely proud of herself for securing the role. She was sure that Officer Jenkins had massively helped out though. He'd put her at ease and ensured she got to the interview safely and on time. Now she needed to find him again. Luckily, the Facebook post was still being shared, and now several local news outlets had picked up the story. When one got in touch with Shanice about coming on the show as part of a feel-good story segment, they revealed that Officer Jenkins had also been invited on. The young woman jumped at the chance. After the show, Shanice told Officer Jenkins how grateful she was and revealed that she'd actually gotten the job. The cop was delighted for her, but told her he didn't need thanks for doing his job. He did admit that seeing everyone's kind words felt nice, though. There was one thing Shanice hadn't considered. What it was actually like to be a good cop when bad press was floating around. As a young black woman, Shanice was fully aware of what could happen when cops were involved, and thanks to that, she had developed a jaded outlook on law enforcement, but she'd never considered the toll the job took on those who did want to do good. Officer Jenkins revealed that being a cop could be tough when everyone expected the worst of you. He'd taken the job to make a positive difference in his community, so in cases like Shanice's arose, he always wanted to do his best to help. Between them, Shanice and Officer Jenkins had shown the world the importance of being kind, and they hoped it would pave the way for change. Now it's over to you. What do you think of this story? How would you have felt in Shanice's position? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.